Hey everybody, this is Jake with TrendSpider, and we are happy to announce that the SR, which is essentially support resistance heat map, is now available as well as a couple other options as well. So um, in order to turn the heat map on, you just click heat map, that turns the feature on, and then you click these three vertical dots, which will then take you to the heat map preferences list, and you can choose from trends, depth, or horizontal. And essentially horizontal is capturing kind of the the moves that have a lot of gaps shown. So notice that there's a there's a gap here, there's a gap here, gap here. Um, same thing here. Um, and so essentially we're just capturing a lot of the <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of the um, kind of consolidation areas and a lot of the price action that's kind of chopped around which shows you know supply and demand kind of equalizing and then the next area of price action moves up so these areas are kind of just areas that have shown um, kind of indecision in the past where there's been some choppiness and so that is then reflected across the chart to show kind of where that lies with current price action so that's horizontal depth is really kind of the same thing except we're kind of uh, with depth and trends we're we're taking into account the trend lines here and so the darker areas are obviously where there's more support and then the lighter areas are where there's not a ton of resistance above or support below so um, this is another area to kind of just um, mess around with and experiment with this is still a very new feature so um, the way that it's used can really be kind of decided by whoever's using it um, and there can be some creative ways to use this. So um, definitely a new feature as well, as well as the trends feature, which is kind of the same thing as the depth. These are just kind of the main areas where um, there's a heavy amount of trend lines and uh, the darker the area, the more kind of concentrated the trend lines are. So that is our heat map feature and how you can use it. Once again, there are there is horizontal depth and trends, the three modes that you can choose from, or types, if you will. And uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out, and uh, we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you so much for listening in, and we hope you enjoy this new feature.